Hey guys, it's Wednesday morning's devotional and uh, we are in Holy Week and uh, it's almost Good Friday. It's almost Resurrection Sunday. We're preparing our hearts for the season of God's blessing that is on its way, that's already started. And so we've been looking in uh, some of the Bible prophecies for telling Jesus and his purpose and what he'd do on this earth and what he would do for us. And so I want us to look at Isaiah chapter nine today. Isaiah 9, and it says, Nevertheless, there will be no more gloom for those who are in distress. In the past, he humbled the land of Zebulun, the land of Naphtali, but in the future, he will honor Galilee of the nations by the way of the sea beyond the Jordan. So he's talking about Jesus is going to, you know, grow up in Galilee and do his ministry around the Sea of Galilee. And then it says, The people walking in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of deep darkness, a light has dawned. And that's the prophecy of Jesus, uh, life in the Galilee area that in the land of darkness, um, and there's a lot of darkness in that day, a lot of uh, pain and trouble and, and strife, but Jesus is the light of the world. And that light um, on the people walking in darkness, a, a great light dawned and no one can extinguish that light. And I just want to encourage you today that um, maybe there's darkness all around you. Maybe there's confusion and maybe grief or pain or loss, um, anxiety, fear, depression. Just know this, in your darkness, a light has dawned because Jesus Christ has come and he has died for you and risen from the grave. He is alive and death can't keep that light from invading our lives. The light always dispels the darkness. And so today, if you feel like you're walking in darkness, just turn to the light of the world because he's right there and he will light your path. He wants to be the lamp and the light for your path. He wants to guide you and um, he wants to bring light to those situations that need clarity. And I'm just so grateful. The people walking in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of deep darkness, a light has dawned. So many people are living in the darkness of hopelessness today. And, and that's what Easter is all about, to bring hope to the hopeless, to bring healing to the hurting. And God is doing that and he's the one doing it. And he is the light and darkness can never extinguish the light. So we're praying for you that God will bring his light into your life today. Do you have a decision you're trying to make that's really confusing, difficult? Um, let him illuminate it for you and make it clear for you. Just pray, Jesus, light of the world, illuminate the situation so I can see what to do clearly. And maybe you're going through the darkness of depression, the darkness of really just despair from the experiences that you've gone through during the pandemic. And just today, pray, Jesus, light of the world, just bring your light of hope to my heart. Bring your light of healing to my heart and bring healing. One of the things about light is that um, light warms, but yet light exposes. And so whenever God shines his beautiful warming light into our lives, it also exposes our sins. And the good news is, instead of ignoring it and walking out of the light, we can just step right into the warmth of his forgiveness and the warmth of his love because he's right there. So if you're carrying guilt today, you don't have to carry that any longer. All you do is just walk into the light, admit it to God. And in Christ's blood, you're totally forgiven and cleansed because of what he's done. And see, many times when our sins are exposed in the light, we want to step back into the darkness. But it's in the darkness that Satan really works because he inflicts in the darkness shame and despair and guilt. But the Holy Spirit draws us into the light. And as he draws us into the light, we experience first a little bit of fear, but then we find total acceptance and forgiveness and love when we admit that we need his forgiveness. And so step into the light today and feel the warmth of his love, the warmth of his forgiveness, the warmth of his unconditional love in your life and live in that light. And I'm telling you, we're gonna celebrate Easter, the light of the world, because he has risen and is the greatest story ever told. It's the greatest comeback story ever told. It's the greatest underdog story ever told. 
It's the greatest redemption story ever told. It's the greatest story of hope that's been ever told. And it's the greatest story of resurrection that's ever told. And he wants to do something great in your life. God bless you. We're praying for you. And we'll see you. Good Friday, Saturday, and Resurrection Sunday.